People say you should never shampoo your hair or you should only wash your hair at most once a week or you're gonna ruin your hair. Hi there, I'm Morty, and today we're gonna to talk about how often you should wash your hair. I meet with a lot of ladies and often they come to me struggling because they've gotten advice from somebody saying don't wash your hair as often or never wash your hair and it's not working for them. Their hair is awful and they're like, why can't I just get it right? What's wrong with me? Should I really be doing it this way? They're unhappy with their routine, but somebody gave them that advice and they're worried they're gonna ruin their hair if they wash too often. Let me tell you, there is not one size fits all when it comes to washing your hair. Important side note, when I say wash your hair, I'm talking about having a wash day when you also condition your hair. It's important to restore proper hydration because even fine hair needs some level of hydration slash moisturizing. So I'm telling you now, like I tell ladies every day, you should wash and condition your hair as often as your hair needs it. How often is that? Well, it depends on your hair type and on your moisture cycle. Let's talk about hair type first. And I actually have a whole video on that, so be sure to check for a link with this video so you can watch that and go more in depth. In a nutshell, the more fine or low porosity your hair is, it accumulates buildup so much faster than other hair. And more frequent washing doesn't usually dry out this hair type as much. On the other hand, the more absorbent or high porosity your hair is, the quicker it dries out. More frequent washing is a no-no and leads to drier and drier and drier hair. And actually, many of us have a combination of characteristics that might seem contradictory, but that's because our hair needs different things. I know me, so I'll use myself as an example. So for me, washing every two or three days, including conditioning and using lighter weight styling products, is really the sweet spot. It keeps my hair looking good, but not excessively dried out. On the other hand, consider low porosity hair, which is not super absorbent hair. It doesn't lose its moisture that fast. So this hair can last five to seven days or longer in between washes. Now let's talk about moisture cycle. This is the length of time your hair can go before it feels dry or greasy, at which point it's important to work in a wash day and condition so that you can reset your hair back to looking and feeling good. Now, sometimes it's not necessary actually to wash. You can simply restore hydration in the form of a leave-in cream and extend time out till your next wash day. So the key here will be in your moisture cycle that when it's looking dry again, for some of us, we wanna wash and recondition. For others, conditioning will give us more time. How do you know what your moisture cycle is? The biggest clue is, when does your hair feel dry or greasy? How long does that take? Also pay attention to if your moisture cycle changes with the seasons or if you go from a dry to a humid climate and vice versa. You wanna adjust how often you wash slash condition your hair accordingly. And I've also spoken to many ladies who, as we get older, we experience more and more dryness. So some of us felt really greasy and had to wash our hair more frequently when we were young. And now we're going days between washing because washing too frequently leads to more and more dryness. So you can change as you age. Oh, and another big clue is, when does your hair lose its shine? Shiny hair is hydrated hair, and as it dries out, it gets less and less shiny and becomes more dull. Now, not everyone has shiny hair to begin with, so this doesn't apply to everyone, nor does it apply if you put heavy oils on your hair to make it look shiny. I'm talking about the actual shine on properly hydrated hair. And I bet if you start paying attention to this, like I recently have, you'll notice. Your hair is shinier on wash and condition day and less shiny, even dull, when it's time to reset with another wash day. So what's the bottom line for all this? Quit listening to other people's rules and wash and condition your hair as often as you feel it needs it. If you need help finding non-toxic products that work for your hair type and issues, or if you need advice on hair care that works for you, I'm just an email or a text away. Or you can go to wardy.com questions, answer a few quick questions to see if working with me is even a good fit for you, and we'll take it from there. God bless you. Bye-bye.